Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, March 24th, and it's cold. It was 22 degrees when I got up this morning. Uh, it rained like crazy yesterday, so we got these puddles in the yard that have frozen. Uh, it's, it was just crazy. It was like, uh, it was like January. Uh, and two weeks ago, we had this false spring where it was in the 60s. So March came in like a lamb and is going out like a lion, apparently. But that aside, today is Palm Sunday, so a blessed Palm Sunday to all you folks that uh, are observing that. Uh, we're now in the most uh, sacred week of the Christian calendar, certainly the Catholic calendar. And uh, because of that, I will not be doing a live stream on Friday night because it's Good Friday. And then I probably won't be doing a Sunday morning chat next Sunday. I'm not sure about that, but uh, we'll see. But in case I don't, Happy Easter to everyone. Uh, and of course, to all my Orthodox friends, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Calendars are a bit different, in case you didn't get that. Anyway, uh, what we got on, on tap for this morning is I'm going to be uh, giving you my impressions of the tobacco of the week momentarily. We're going to be talking about some pipe making stuff. I finished up a, that billiard that I was talking about last week. And I don't know, we'll see where it goes from there. But those are the main uh, topics. And I'm probably not going to prattle on for too long today because i got a lot of stuff to get to. So anyway, the tobacco of the week as chosen by you, the live stream viewers on Friday night. It is a blend called uh, Our Best Blend by Smoker's Haven. And this is a, an older tin of uh, Our Best Blend. I cannot give you a date on this other than it was sent to me by my friend Tim H. back in 2016. Thank you, Tim, if you're still watching. I haven't, haven't heard from you in quite a while, but I hope you're doing well. Uh, other than that, I honestly can't, can't give you a date on this. It, it only has the California warning on it. There's no obvious code on it or anything that would allow me to date it. Uh, but I would guess based on some of the other tobaccos that Tim sent me that this was at least five years old when he sent it. So, you know, I'm, let, let's just say 2010, just to make the math easier. So 14 years, somewhere between 10 and 14 years old, I would say. Uh, and that's important because this blend is, well, let me read to you because it's, it's I love the, the description here on the tin. The Pipe Smoker's Nectar of the Gods. It actually says that. An excellent blending of the finest quality string cut Virginia with prime leaves of Latakia and mild full flavored Turkish tobacco. The mixture of these bland tobaccos in our best blend gives the pipe smoker a delightfully cool and tasteful smoke which burns down to completely dry ash. For the working hours or those relaxing moments at home, you will like our best blend by Smoker's Haven. It actually says the mixture of these bland tobaccos. That's fascinating. Anyway, um, the reason it's important is this was back when you could still get Syrian Latakia. This is Syrian Latakia. The Modern version of this, it is still produced by Smoker's Haven, but from what I've been able to gather, it's now using Cyprian Latakia, and it's no longer a fine string cut, but it's more of a coarse uh, ribbon cut. So maybe very different experience than what I'm going to describe. You know I'm not a Latakia fan, uh, and I believe part of that is because of the shift to Cyprian, but uh, I'm so happy we chose this. This is wonderful stuff and I have enjoyed every bowl that I've had so far. Let me give you an example of what that string cut looks like. It is very, very fine stringy. Um, beautiful, beautiful dark tobacco. I've had uh, three bowls of this including the one that I had on the live stream and I'm really looking forward to, to loading up this bowl right now and telling you more about it. So it's a Balkan, Virginia, Latakia, Oriental, Balkan. I don't want to argue. I'm going to be smoking it in my Tim West pipe, um, Tim West uh, Billiardy pipe. I don't know what that is. Is that a lumberman or a, a Canadian or I don't know. It's got the, it's not really an oval shank. It's more of a flat shank. Yeah, it's a billiard variant. So let me load this up. Um, the one problem with this tobacco, and of course this is very unlikely to be a problem with the newer version. Uh, 
but because of the stringiness of this, it's very easy to overpack it. So you got to be careful with that. And it's interesting because if this was something like uh, Five Brothers, which is a shag cut, very fine stringy cut, I would suggest that you have to overpack it. But for reasons I don't quite understand, if you overpack this, it gives you a very tight draw and you can't smoke it. Whereas if you underpack Five Brothers, it burns like a house on fire and lights your tongue up. So, not everything has a scientific explanation. And that's coming from a card-carrying scientist. Alrighty. Okay, we got a nice draw on that. Now, as I said, I, I, I'm not a fan of a lot of Kia anymore. I used to love it. It used to be the only thing I smoked. And then I went on this break uh, where I was smoking cigars for a while and not smoking pipes. And when I came back to pipes, I just couldn't do a lot of Kia anymore. Um, don't know why. Because there was still Syriate available back then. Okay, let's light this up. Oh my, that is so good. It is. And granted, the Latakia may have mellowed, but it is that smoky, leathery uh, Latakia. Slight sweetness to it. None of that tart sharpness that you get in, in my opinion, in modern Latakia blends, uh, which may be due to the Cyprian versus Syrian thing, might also be due to my taste buds changing. I don't know. Oh, man. I wish I could share this with you. I really do. Because this is taking me back to my days in Pittsburgh, walking back and forth from the university to the house I lived in in Regent Square, and uh, just enjoying a cool, crisp evening. Not that this was the tobacco I was smoking, but it's, it evokes those memories. The fact that I was smoking number 10 Downing Street. So, other than that lot of Kia, which is definitely the, the uh, main attraction in this one, There's definitely some deep Virginia sweetness. No, no tart at all to this. No, no, no sharp tartness at all. It's very smooth, very creamy. It's a little rough on the retrohale. It kind of surprises me. Not a Perique heat, but, but more of just a harshness. So I will probably not retrohale this anymore. And that part of that creaminess might be that, that Turkish, uh, which is just a little slightly sour note, nothing Nothing off-putting at all. It works really well with the Virginia and the Latakia. This is a this is an amazingly good blend. Um, so Smokers Haven is still in business. Uh, got an interesting history. If you want to look into that, 
Uh, they do still sell our best blend, but I checked this morning and it is listed as currently out of stock. So, sorry. Uh, there are tins available, uh, you know, vintage tins available, and if you get a chance to grab one of those, you'll have to get to it before me. <laughs> so if we're at any pipe shows together, this is this is what I will look for. Uh, and I have seen it at, at uh, the Columbus show. I remember looking at it thinking, oh, I have a tin of that. I wonder what it's like. <laughs> I wish I knew. This is this is really something. Now, this is not something I would smoke every day, even if it was, you know, freely available. But it's really it would make a wonderful uh, occasional treat. And Big Dave, there are uh, voluminous amounts of thick white smoke, so. My buddy Big Dave likes his voluminous quantities of thick white smoke. All right, so, pipe making. If you remember last time, I think last time, I showed you uh, the new pipe I had made from a pre-phrased stummel. And that's something I'm doing to play with rustication techniques and drilling methods and things like that. I'm not counting those as, as pipes in terms of pipe number one, pipe number two. So my goal was to make 10 billiards. And so far I have made the pipe-like object, which I call pipe number zero. Uh, and that was just because I was playing with the tooling and stuff. I, it really wasn't my best effort. And I didn't feel like I had a process down yet. So I don't count that one. Pipe number one, uh, is my little Demi Lovat, which I'm quite happy with, and that turned out well. These are all supposed to be billiards. I made a mistake with the Demi Lovat, and it became a Demi Lovat. Uh, pipe number two was a classic billiard uh, that I, I did in a, a smooth finish, and that actually went into the auction we had a while back, and I forget who bought that, but somebody out there has pipe number two. I'm embarrassed that they have it, because it's certainly not the best quality, but it was important to me to do to, to let that get out in order to support the cause that we were working on with that auction. So this is pipe number three. This is the one I was working on last week. I showed you the uh, the stummel and uh, talked about how this was from a block of briar, not a pre-phrased stummel. And this is the result. Now it's a little bit wild in terms of color palette. I had I'm using up the this acrylic and this was. I don't know if it's if if it's coming out there. That's not black. It's actually blue. But it looks like on the monitor it's showing as black. Um, I played with the staining method on this one, and hopefully you can get an appreciation for the contrast there and some of the bird's eye if I could find it. Come on, focus. I don't know if it's going to come out. Am I looking at the right part here? I might be looking at the wrong part here. Try one more time. Sorry I'm whacking the camera around. There you go. You can see some of that. Um, so this is this is actually a, a chemical contrast stain. So there's no dye on this. And uh, then it's just natural briar color showing through. Uh, and I, I did stain the top just because I didn't like the way the contrast was looking up there. I should have gone with something darker. I used dark brown, and it kind of looks odd given the other colors here. But nevertheless, I'm really pleased with the the contrast stain. This is this is better than I was expecting. The shaping, I'm not so pleased with. There are some problems with the shape. Uh, this is not a good billiard by any stretch. It's an okay billiard. It's pipe-like. Uh, but it is billiard number three, and I'm, I'm counting it. I've learned a lot from it. I, I know I know why this doesn't look right, because I've measured it to, uh, I'm sorry, I keep looking over there because that's where my big monitor is and I can see things better. Um, I've measured this every which way, and I know exactly 
what the problems are with it in terms of the shaping. I've, I've looked at lines. Uh, I know how to make it better. So I know what to pay attention to for the next one. And that's the whole point of making 10 of these. One of the things I thought about, it, so one of the big problems with it is there's a bit of a dip in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but this part of the pipe right here is actually lower than this part of the pipe. And that's not good. That's uh, exactly not what you want in a billiard. Now I thought about removing some more material up in here, but in order to do that, this would start to look really weird up here, and it just was easier just to say, okay, this has got its problems, but I'll learn from them and try to make number four better. Uh, so, yeah. I also played with the drilling a bit on this, uh, with the stem drilling. Try to find a slightly better way of drilling the stem that allows me to make these thin um, saddle stems without having to worry about drilling, uh, sanding through them. And I think it worked out okay, but I need to I need to smoke this one because I need to do the experiment there. So sadly, I do have to smoke this pipe. <laughs> but it's going to be a while until I get to that. Because I'm currently smoking the billiard that I showed you last week from the pre-phrase stumble. And that's interesting. So one of the things I learned from that is... I'm going to have to put a pipe, uh, a bowl coating on those pre-phrased thumbles. I think it's because the briar is so aged, so well aged and so dry that I got a lot more briar flavor out of the first smoke than I was expecting. So probably the wood is burning a bit more than usual. Uh, so I want to put a bowl coating in there just to protect that. Not on that pipe because I've already smoked it, but on the next one that I make from the pre-phrased thumble, I'll be doing that. Which brings me to what's next. So, I don't know. Part of me wants to jump right into billiard number four and, you know, take advantage of what I've learned here. Part of me wants to tackle this, which is an interesting challenge. This is another one of those pre-phrased thumbles with a square shank. And I honestly don't know what to do with that. Um, I mean, I've seen square shank pipes. You can, you can make them and... I could make this a square shank pipe, um, but does that look right with, I don't know. But I don't have a lot of options. I can't make it round, I don't think. I don't think that would work well with that bowl shape. Sorry, I'm getting an alarm here on my phone. There you go. I don't think round would, would work. I don't think I'd have enough briar to make it round and make it look right. It would be a very thin shank. Um, I could possibly make it octagonal. Octagonal? One, two, three. Hexagonal? Well, I guess I could make it both, but uh, I don't know. I don't think there's enough briar to make it a diamond shank. In other words, make the, uh, you yeah, know, make it like that. Um, because I, I don't have enough to cut off it. Eh, we'll figure it out. So part of me really wants to tackle that and see what I can do with it. And the other part of me wants to just go and make another billiard. And I think, I don't know, I, I can't decide right now. I, I think the right thing to do would be to make the other billiard. But then there's the, you know, is it better to take a break and do something different? I don't know. Uh, well, such is life. So, wood is on tap for today. Well, I'm going to wait for the temperature to stop being cold because we are going to get up to like 45 or something. And then I got to go pick up those branches that I didn't pick up last week. Long story, but uh, because I'm pretty certain our long guy is going to be here, if not this week, the following. Uh, still have a lot of work to do out in the yard. I'm going to try to do some landscaping this year, which is Something I haven't done much of, but I want to I want to fix up some of the beds in the front of the house and maybe even there's an area in the corner of the yard that I've kind of let just like go wild. There's a couple of trees there and I don't there's trees and then there's a big forsythia bush underneath it and the dogs like to go and hide in there and stuff. And I just leave it. Um, I probably should clean that out at some point because there's like a whole grove of uh, 
dogwood trees sprouting up, which is good because we've got this old dogwood tree that, that the poor thing has lost big limbs from ice storms and stuff. And it's, you know, dogwoods will survive, but it just looks horrible. And it'd be nice to have some other dogwoods in there filling it up. I think they're beautiful trees. But, yeah, I probably got to thin those out and get rid of some of the other, you know, weed trees and various things in there and maybe mulch it or something. I don't know. But I'm not going to do any of that today. And I'm just babbling, which I said I wasn't going to do. So let me just relight this because this is too good to go out. Too good to end the video with this not lit. So I do highly recommend, if you get a chance to try this, uh, even the new incarnation, which might be fantastic. I've not tried it. I'm just imagining because of the Cyprian Latakia, I'm not going to like it. Maybe I'll love it. I'll have to try it when it comes back in stock. If you can find a vintage tin of this, buy it. Um, it's, it's wonderful stuff. And I'm going to go make some, uh, some briar dust. So with that, guys, I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. Blessed Palm Sunday. Uh, blessed Holy Week, if, if you're observing that. Otherwise, happy Easter. Enjoy your chocolate Cadbury eggs. Don't eat those, by the way. They're, they're horrible for you. And uh, I will not see you this coming weekend. But I'll be back the following Friday for a live stream, and then we'll get together again on Sunday. So enjoy the two weeks in the interim, and I'll look forward to seeing you when I get back. With that, guys, take care. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.